Brian Luca. Hi, I'm Howard Dukarsh, co-founder of Brighton Home Realty and podcast host of Real Estate with Howard Dukarsh. And I'm Raluca Erlia. I'm co-founder of the Chorus Software Solutions, and I'm a realtor with Right at Home. And today we're going to have one of those uh, days where we're going to disagree. Yeah, just the one day. Right? One day, because, <laughs> because we talked about this off camera, and I thought, wow, this is a really good topic. So here's the topic. Relationships in the office, uh, not business, it's called ro romantic relationships. Should you or shouldn't you? Should you or shouldn't you, and what are the risks? So from the point of view of a company, um, some companies allow them and some don't. That's actually, you know, a company policy. But we're talking about uh, real estate agents are independent contractors. So there's no real, I guess you could have a company policy on it, but... It, but some it, of them do work in the brokerage together. They have teams. Right. Yeah. And, and, you know, the more you spend time with someone, uh, quite often the more you like them, or quite often the more you don't like them. <laughs> so it goes, goes both ways. But my experience has been when that happens in the company, uh, somebody leaves. Uh, because the relationship, unless they get married, it breaks down and it's awkward. And so for, for my uh, point of view, um, I, I suggest, you know, don't have the ro romantic relationship with someone you, you work with in your, in your office. But Raluca I has another approach. I have to disagree. Oh, no. I have to disagree. You've met somebody that has something in common with you. They understand your lifestyle. They understand what it takes to be there all the time, be a real estate agent. Right. And you have that commonality. I mean, what more do you need? You're spending the time with them already. It's going to bring you together. So for me, it seems like an organic place to actually find a mate. Okay, and, and quite often it does, uh, or, um, or it doesn't, I guess. But what happens if that relationship doesn't uh, You can be adults. You can be adults about it. And you, you, I guess if one of them wants to leave the team, but if you have a good partnership and good communication, even if the relationship breaks down, you should be able to still continue having a work relationship. Okay. We're all adults here. All right. So, so Raluca apparently is more mature, is more mature than <laughs> my own experience with people. But the truth is, it's like everything in life, it's personal, right? It is personal. Unless it's, your brokerage says no. Unless, <laughs> right. Unless your brokerage says no, and, and then for sure it's not worth the risk. Um, I think in companies, though, to, to take it one step further, an agent having a relationship with an agent, they're like adults. They can decide what they want to do. But an agent having a relationship with the staff, how do you feel about that? Well, I don't think it's going to affect anything having with the staff. Where I think it might make a difference is your client. That's where I draw the line. I say no, at least not until the transaction is completed. So you mean where they want to have a relationship with the agent? With yourself, with the client, or they, they are interested in you. Always draw that line because it can come back to bite you. Well, in the touch. well I'll tell you, I'm impressed. I never had that, did, did you? That's for another show. <laughs> We're having fun with doing these these uh, these videos, um, and we hope you're enjoying watching them. And you know, some will be more serious, and some will be just fun. So, thanks for joining us today. And and if you want to give us your take on how you feel, or if you have any feel good stories that it worked out, because it can work out, you know, contact us. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.